Lung cancer, it's the leading cause of cancer death among both men and women, and this is according to the American Cancer Society. New advances in treatment are helping more and more people survive the disease. ABC 2's Chanel Pierman has more on one woman's journey overcoming lung cancer thanks to modern medicine. I felt horrible for my kids. Three years ago, Natalie Kelly received news that would forever change her life. By the time I found out, I already kind of knew in my head you know, that I definitely had cancer, it was stage four lung cancer. And the news only got worse from there. Kelly was not only diagnosed with stage four lung cancer, but was only given 18 months to live. I don't think I ever really did process it. I just, like, you know, you just kind of say, well, I'll just do what I got to do when I got to do it and hope for the best. Hoping for the best while the odds were stacked against her. Doctors put Kelly on standard chemotherapy, and after that didn't seem to work, she turned to a clinical trial for immunotherapy. Anytime there is the opportunity for a trial, I would say go for it. Dr. Suman Rao works at MedStar Franklin Square. She says immunotherapy has shown great promise in patients with lung cancer. The new treatment enhances the body's fight against the disease. What happens is the immune system gets fooled and thinks that this is normal tissue because the cancers are hiding behind this protein. And then when you use immunotherapy, it sort of takes away the camouflage. Um, and so it allows the cancer to become more visible to the immune system so the immune system can attack it. So continued Kelly's fight with the help of a new clinical trial. Although she was initially given only 18 months to live, after two years of treatment, Kelly can now say she's cancer free. With the treatment and everything and the way things were going, I don't think I would have made it through the first year if I hadn't had an alternative. Giving her a new lease on life and a better appreciation of modern medicine. I'm still here and I'm not on the, I'm still getting monitored. I'm still being watched pretty closely, but um, still here. It's three years later, so. Dr. Rao understands that many patients may be nervous about clinical trials because they feel as though they are experimental. But she says this is not the case. Rao says drugs that MedStar studies already have track records. And the trials give you an opportunity to try drugs you otherwise would not have access to. For ABC2 News, I'm Chanel Pearman.